Ready? Ready? Oh, you missed it. It, it, it. it went just five seconds ago. That was the nearest future. You missed it. After, after I said the word ready, immediately after that, it was the nearest future. Welcome to IELTS Juice. Let's start assessing an essay together. This time the essay has this rubric. One of the most pressing problems facing the world today is overpopulation. What policies do you think governments should adopt to address the causes and effects of this problem? All right. So uh, I need to say a couple of items about the rubric. Number one, we're talking about overpopulation and our target audience is only the governments. So the rubric doesn't ask us to talk what people can do, what children should learn, what, I don't know, NGOs, non-government organizations must do or contribute. We are only focused on the things that governments can do. The second thing, Please don't be fooled by these two words, like the causes and effects. Okay, are we going to talk about the causes, the reasons why overpopulation happened and the effects? Like, yeah, overpopulation will bring this problem and that problem. And in the future, we will have the shortage of food and, I don't know, uh, high housing price and... Uh, I don't know, we might have a crisis, economic crisis. No, 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 no. IELTS wants us to focus on the policies to address this problem. The policies that governments, again, the focus is on governments, must do to address this problem. Every problem comes with the cause, the, the, the cause or the causes, and the the effect or the effects, and it and it usually is plural, so there are effects. So just read the question carefully. Don't, don't, don't be fooled by these words, causes and effects, because IELTS basically wants you to say what are the solutions. Done. But you need to read the rubric carefully. Let's carry on. Nowadays, one of the main problems which affects, yeah, which affects our planet, our planet, is overpopulation. All right. In my opinion, good. The authorities, that's a very good word for governments, should implement specific measures. It's a very good word for solutions, uh, such as birth rate control laws for people in some countries and specific lessons in schools for children in order to encourage people to concern about this issue, to be concerned about this issue or to concern themselves about, about this issue. You need to choose one of them. All right, that's a very good opening. It actually touches on pretty much everything I wanted to hear. Uh, I am not a fan of giving examples in either introduction and definitely not in the conclusion. Examples are best suited for the body paragraphs and they act as very good supporting sentences. I wouldn't use uh, such structures in introduction, uh, nor do I use them in conclusion. So please be very, very careful with that. Uh, the introduction is telling me that the whole essay is going to be uh, focused on authorities and the solutions that they can bring to the table. Great. Let's carry on. There is little room for doubt that growing population is one of the most actual problems the world currently faces. Good structure. With today's birth rate, I need a comma here, 
there is high risk, there is a high risk that, because risk is countable, that in the nearest future, the nearest future, in the near future, what do you think the nearest future is? Are you ready? Are you ready for me to explain what the nearest future is? Ready? Ready? Oh, you missed it. I, it, it, it went just five seconds ago. That was the nearest future. You missed it. After, after I said the word ready, immediately after that, it was the nearest future. Like a split second right after you say the word is the nearest future. The world would be increasingly overpopulated, which seriously, uh, I think I need, I need a comma after, not before which, would be increasing, though, which is, which, ser which will seriously affect uh, our planet's living conditions. Cool. Indeed, the world's natural resources, such as fossil fuel, wood, and water, beautiful, are limited. And with growing consumption, and with the growing consumption rate, the growing consumption rate that comes with the, with the problem of overpopulation that, that we already discussed, that's why it's all known. We use the article the here. With the growing consumption rate, comma, they might eventually disappear. Oh, you mean the fossil fuel will disappear, wood will disappear, water will disappear. Might, not will, might. I, I stand corrected. Might disappear. Good. Yes, that's fine. Furthermore, the state of the planet's ow, yeah, uh, apostrophe and an S because we're talking about our planet and it's only one. We don't know about other planets. We don't know about Jupiter or Saturn and their fossil fuel or wood. There is no fossil fuel in Jupiter. It's all gas. It's a, it's a gas giant. There's no wood in Saturn. There is no wood in anywhere. Not in, not in Neptune, uh, not in uh, Venus, Mars, no, Mercury, no. So, yeah. At least the planets we know and heard of. Yeah, there might be some wood in planet X, O, Z, bleep, blah, blue, zero, three, seven, hyphen, dash, something. Yes, but um, it's not something I'm aware of at the moment. Uh, environment is directly associated with population as a high number of people obviously means an increased rate of carbon dioxide. Hence, there's a tiny little mistake here. There's a missing full stop. Hence, overpopulation is an extremely serious issue affecting a number of significant aspects of the Earth. You see, we're talking about the Earth. So that's a planet. We don't need planets. Uh, I'm a little... Hmm confused um not in a bad way uh, this body paragraph talks about the problem we already know the the problem the problem was already given to us the focus of the essay must be on what authorities can contribute and what they can do uh, to solve this and i don't know why uh we keep talking about it this is this is of course on topic uh, the writer felt that uh, we should hear more about the issue at hand. Fine. I just hope we still have time and space. Uh, if you are doing IELTS on paper, uh, space on paper matters. Uh, to come up with a solution or solutions. Let's see.
that leads us to the second body paragraph and that's actually the last body paragraph okay there are two effective solutions to deal with the problem of overpopulation now that is good okay i wanted to hear pro solutions and the, here here they are one way to tackle this issue is to introduce specific re lessons in schools for children where youngsters, pluralized, would be taught good about the overpopulation. Not the overpopulation, about overpopulation. I mean, uh, not, not the overpopulation. Why? I, I, we are talking about the overpopulation on the planet Earth, and we don't want to talk about overpopulation on the planet Jupiter. Uh, again, guys, I really don't know which where you're watching this YouTube uh, video, but I think we are still a long way to populate other planets and Jupiter in specific. So I think uh, the content will last for quite some time. Anyway, let's continue. About overpopulation. By incorporating these classes into a school curriculum, Young people will develop a clearer understanding of main effects of overpopulation and, and what it would cause to a planet and learn. I, that's an overuse of and, but uh, and, I, and I need to also mention that we need to put comma, two commas before the two ands, and learn basic methods of how to control birth. Yeah, that's, that's much better. Secondly, the government should implement incentives by allowing people to have no more than a, or families to have no more than a particular number of children uh, in a family. Yeah. This method would certainly slow down the overall birth rate. I don't need this hyphen. Uh, in countries, and prevent families from having more than accepted, more than the accepted number of children, because it is now known. We don't know what it is. It might be two, it might be three, it might be four, it might be one, but it is the accepted number. So I understand now uh, that the two solutions are to focus on school children, put some information in their curriculum, and the, uh, by, uh, by authorities. And secondly, the government also should implement some incentives for, for the families uh, under, the, under their program to have a certain number of children only. Okay, in conclusion, introducing specific lessons in schools and measures controlling the birth rate, I don't need hyphen here, in a country are efficient ways to deal with overpopulation issue, with the overpopulation issue. If governments implement these solutions, birth rate, that's correct, would soon drop. Okay, Three, 303, 303 words. Now let's look at the band descriptors. Oh yes, there you go. Well, the task response is stellar, eight. Um, we addressed the solution. We understood the rubric very well. We addressed the problem and we came up with two solutions. Why isn't it nine? Because the rubric mentions causes and effects. And uh, we, of course, devoted one paragraph about the effects, but we, Maybe for a full response, we could have just mentioned one or in one or two sentences what caused overpopulation, and you know come from this perspective that maybe the government's negligence led people uh, to such a situation where we have limited resources and a high number of people. And that is one of the causes, for instance, for that. Or another cause might be uh, the cheap 
price of food. And it is everywhere. All I'm saying is for a nine, uh, we needed to dig a little bit deeper into the rubric, into the IELTS question. But this is a very good score. Eight is very good. I mean, uh, the answer sufficiently presented a response to the question. So I'm very satisfied with it. Uh, another very important thing, you, you, you also notice that in the conclusion, the order of information was sequential and it was very well presented. And that was very, very good. Uh, there are two elements that needed work. Uh, one, there was one sentence that I had both a referencing issue. We had some referencing issues like the missing the, or there was some extra the that we needed to uh, cut. So the, refer the referencing issue was there, but there was one sentence in specific that the transition wasn't clear and there were some missing words. So that contributed to, sorry, that contributed to coherence and cohesion uh, being a six and also affecting uh, the grammar. And that's the only thing uh, I found a little, a little troubling. Other than that, this is a healthy 6.5. If it weren't for that single sentence, it would be 7 now. It's, it just falls a little bit short of 7. So I know you guys uh, had a lot of takeaways from this, this particular essay. I hope you also had a lot of takeaways from this particular essay. You see, uh, we try to handpick very, very good samples, the samples that have a lot to teach us. And uh, I'm sure that you understood, learned, and uh, you now have very good experience on what needs to be done in such cases. And as, all, as I always say, your essays, your letters, or your reports are going to be your representatives. Just make sure they do their jobs well. And don't forget, every sentence counts. So it doesn't matter how many correct sentences you write. If only one sentence has some errors, or some bad errors, or some confusing messages, we lose marks. And on that note, uh, on that scary note, <laughs> I'm joking, uh, on the note that you need to be mindful of, I wish you a lovely day ahead.